Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the scan bridge that is available for connection to the uh, Creality Raptor or Creality Otter. Um, I've just come back from China. I was there for 12 days visiting Creality and having a look around. Um, they were gracious enough to take me to the factory and have a look at the factory where they make uh, all their printers and all their filaments. So that was really good. I'll have some videos about that later. Um, but we'll get on to this and I'm just going to do an unboxing. I only came back this morning. I landed this morning back here in Perth in Australia. Um, so this is my first little go trying to see this. My, the box got a little, a little squashed in my bag, but um, it should be all okay. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. And if you like it, give us a thumbs up. That gets the video out to more people. Okay guys, let's go. Okay guys, so just get a little Creality Seal sticker off it. And then open her up. We've basically got some instructions. And, then, and oh, that's all that comes in the box. So we've got a little case to carry the bridge around in. I guess it gonna, feels like it's got space for your scanner as well. Ooh. Yeah, you can probably, if you don't put all these cables and stuff in. Okay, what's this? This is a, this looks like a transmitter or a receiver. It's a Wi-Fi connection for, I'm not sure if it's your computer or for the, um, looks like it's going to be for the computer. Ah, ah, tough plastic, this one. Oh, okay. So let's see, what does it say? It's 537.4 megabits per second. It's a USB 3. Um, and that's all it says at the moment. Let's open up, have a look. Uh, it's just the adapter. Hmm. Oh. Uh, so it's got antennas. And a plug, this will be for your computer to pick up on the Raptor, no doubt. So if it says anything. Oh, with the manual, just scan the codes on the card and you'll get the manual. What else we got in here? Oh, a strap for the bag. And, I don't know what these are, let's have a look. These are all just sort of cables by the looks of it. There's a... So this is a scanner, and here is a power and communications bit. I'm, I'm not sure how that fits on. I'll have a look in a minute. Um, so I've only just received this in, um, in China while I was over there. Um, the lovely Holly um, gifted it to us. I'm sure Joy had a lot to do with that. Joy's the scanning person that you see online all the time. Um, and Holly's her boss. <laughs> so um, they were really kind to gift it to me. I don't know what I've done to deserve that, but um, they, they were so nice, man. I tell you, if you, if you get the opportunity to go visit Creality, um, it doesn't cost much. The airline's pretty cheap. I got, um, I think I got about $1,000 return. Um, and the hotel was about, I think it was $40 a night or something. So, it, so overall, it was pretty cheap. And the, man, they are the friendliest people you're ever likely to meet. Every single person at Creality was just happy to see you, uh, just sort of looked after you, made sure you, were, you, know, you, you saw everything you wanted to see within, within reason. Well, this is a USB-C to USB-C connection here. You also got a um, tripod adapter or some sort of adapter that will screw in just like you would any sort of uh, tripod connection onto a, a um, trop the camera. So it's just a little little loop, loop, loop thing there. And on top of that, and then you've got the screw on the back. So it looks like a standard tripod mount. And this is a phone connector, I gather. So it just um, it expands to fit on your phone. And here's the prize. Nice scan. 
So this connection here is all for the Raptor, okay? So if you have an Otter, you can either buy the Otter um, kit, I think. So instead of this, hand, this bit of wire, you get this bit of wire. Or you can buy the Raptor combination and get the Otter adapter if you've got an Otter as well. So I've got both. So uh, I purchased the Otter. Let's have a look. Um, so I've got my Otter here. So let's pop that out and just see how that fits on the, on the thing. Now, so you got, I've got my little Otter here. And it's got a little rubber bit on the bottom there. And that's a tripod mount. So if you put, if you pull that off, just get your fingernails under it, you'll see there's a little uh, screw hole in there. I'm gathering this will go onto there, like so. Yeah, come on. Now, looking at your handle, I just saw this, it's got a USB-C connection there. That would be to charge the battery that's in the handle. Okay, on, on the front here, you've got these two little buttons. They move the little clamps on the inside there. So that'd be to release it. Uh, I'm just going to connect. And this, ah, you see how it's got a little pattern on the edge there? So it goes around here and then it's got a little tail on here. Don't know if you can see it very well. Yep, okay. So that fits on here inside here so I'm gathering it's magnetic oh yeah it's magnetic so it just magnets onto there and then your scanner would go on oh, I gather you gotta push does it go like that oh yeah push in the buttons put it on and it locks in place so and then this would go from your connection port at the back here I gather yeah, and that would plug into the USB-A point at the side there. And what's that? Oh, that's the power. Oh, okay. So when you're doing the Raptor, you see you've got another little port, which is your power port there. You don't need it for the Otter, but the Raptor does. So that's why it's got the two connection bits there, where the Otter only has the one. Okay, so two connection bits for the Raptor would go eep, in that hole there and the USB. And then you'd get your phone. Have we got a phone somewhere? Yep, I'll get my phone. Oh, oh, magic of television. A few moments later. Boop, just like that, I have a phone. The phone would hit in here. Now, you need to go onto the internet and get um, Creality Scan and load it onto your, uh, through the App Store or uh, through Google Apps, and load it onto your phone, okay? Then you've got to, the Otter when it turns on creates a network, and with your phone you just wirelessly connect to that network with your phone, and then they'll link up through the Creality Scan app, okay? And then you've got a handle, and it's tether free. You don't need it to be attached to a computer for it to, for you to be able to scan. Now, I'm not sure if you'd need a computer in the room so it can wisely transfer the data to the computer, but I believe they're coming out with a mobile app for, I know it's for the Raptor, you need a computer in the room, I'm not sure about the Otter, it might be able to save onto your phone. I do know you can with the Ferret Pro. So I'm, I'm assuming that the Otter does save to your phone. I will do another video of me using it later but the Raptor can't save your phone yet. They're saying maybe in a month or two they will have the app developed. Hopefully it's a month. We're talking about before the end of the year anyway. And um, you'll be able to use a Raptor saving to your phone as well. So, that is an amazing scanner attached to the handle and you don't need to hold your computer in the other hand with <laughs> the cables hanging off it. It makes it so much easier. If anyone's used the Ferret Pro, I've used the Ferret Pro. I shove it in my backpack when I go traveling. And when I'm walking around looking at things, if I see something, oh, that might be nice to scan. I pull it out of my backpack, attach it to my phone, scan away, chuck it back in my backpack and away you go. Don't need to carry a laptop and stuff around with me. 
So really handy to have the handle here. Okay, so let's have a look at the difference in the Raptor. Oh, so to release it, just push those two little buttons, boop, and it comes off, and take the cable out. Okay, so that's for my otter. I'll chuck that otter stuff in there. In there. Oh, I need that. that cable off. So that's why you'd need this to your computer, yeah? So you can, it, it's a high speed con wireless connection, so that's what, what, so your scanner can connect to your laptop. Okay, so you can see the difference in bag. So the order, substantially less in cost, of course. The order comes in this bag, it's nice and handy and um, convenient, light. This one's a little bit more heavier, but a lot more protection, yeah? It's basically a waterproof, like a um, Pelican case, if you've ever had a Pelican case. So basically, these cases, they just have clips at the side here, pull them up, open it up, it's foam protected inside as well. So like that with a Raptor, if you haven't got the Raptor, man, it's a good bloody scanner. So, so the difference between the Raptor and the Otter is the Otter works on infrared, the Raptor works on infrared and blue light scanning, so you can pick between the two. So, yeah, when, when uh, if those that, have, that are getting the Raptor, um, blue light needs something with these little dots all over it to be able to position your, um, the scanner can keep up to date with um, where things are. So I've, attached, I take my, my little plate here and I've got these that I can stand up on the side. So this is 3D printed and I've just got the little reflective scanner dots and I've put it all over them. So I printed a few different things because it makes it a lot easier to scan. So we've got some little towers, some big towers. I don't use all of them at once of course, but you can see, let me just, let me just point you over this way, sorry guys. There we go. Okay, so these um, would stand behind the, the turntable like so. And as you're scanning this way, it can use the towers to line up because you need four of these dots in uh, each frame to be able to, for it to be able to focus in on it. So I've got them and I've got my little uh, Lazy Susan. But what I've also printed out is a bundle of these little things. I'll keep away in my box here. So you can get them and they're all different angles. You get little ones like this that are just a little, oop, little dongle thing. Oh, sticker's falling off. Oh, it's around here, there you go. Okay, so that, that can give it blue light, as uh, uh, the blue light something to focus on as well. You get all, all different sorts. I'll put some links down below about where I got all these from. But you can get ones like this with different angles. I think that's a, 60 degree angle one and you've got ones like this it's just so when you're moving your scanner around you get the different angles and they can pick up the dots you've just got something like a hexagon dice type thing there and another one here that's only a 30 degree angle and stuff like that so i just print off a bundle of them got some little things and i keep them in my little container like that for when i want to scan and then i can put uh, the stuff with those around it and it, this, it can pick up the um, the object really easy. So on the Raptor you've got the hole up the top here. Same thing as the Otter, of course. And you pump it on like so. Is that gonna, what's going on? Ah, am I going the wrong way? Put down the table. Oh no, run away. Oh, there you go. It's in. Okay. So I've just put it on the base there. And the same thing, just clip in those two little clips at the side. Put this in and away you go like that. Then you've got this that plugs into your little port at the side of the scanner. And then it will plug into the two little, you've got the power, the round power one, and then the USB next to it, just there, and the round power one there. 
and easy as. So it basically goes in. Hello. Okay, so this, this is my first time trying to put it together and I didn't need a manual. It's pretty easy, yeah. So you've got it, it connects like that and as you can see the two connections there. Okay, so at the moment you need a laptop nearby with this plugged into it that's provided with the bridge and it will scan directly to your laptop. Okay, so the laptop will be sitting nearby and you'll be... But you don't have the tether. So usually you have these cables and it's a big long cable and you plug it in to your laptop and then you're doing this. But if you need to move with it, you need to grab your laptop and move with it. So this is, makes it heaps, heaps easier. And it feels comfortable in the hand. It's, 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 it's got some... It's not light, but it's not really heavy, you know. I could stand and do this for a while. It's not... It's, not, um, it's solid is probably the best word for it. It is a solid construction and it feels feels like you've got a battery of that size sitting in your hand. A bit like a torch, you know, heavy uh, dolphin type torch. Those big chunky toys. It's a bit like one of them. Yeah, that sort of weight. But there you go. So that's the Raptor on it. And that's it. It's, I, I, I've been waiting for the bridge to come out. I heard rumours earlier that they were bringing one out and I thought, oh, yes, great, that'll make these so much better. Um, <clears throat> and now it's out. So I'm looking forward to when they bring out the application um, that uh, allows these to be saved to your phone instead of having to lug your laptop around with you. Um, but a lot easier without the cables there. You can get around your objects. Say you're scanning your parts of a car and stuff. You want to move around it. You don't want to have the cable there because it's just a, it's just a pain having the cable hanging off them. So there you go, the bridge. So guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you liked it, um, give us a thumbs up. And good old Crowley here. Um, yeah, didn't say much at all in this one. But um, here's my little droid that I built the, the little while ago, and he's going to be joining us. I'm trying to think of a ways to um, make him activate to sound and stuff. So bear with me because I haven't done that before. So I'm just going to have a fiddly play. And hopefully in future videos, he'll be able to crack some jokes or something. <laughs> With somebody else outside um, telling the jokes. Um, okay, guys, have a nice um, what, evening, day, wherever it is where you're watching now. And I will see you on the next one, hopefully next week. Okay, guys. See you later. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these videos um, that I've made in the past. So feel free. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye.